If we go back 25 years, cancer looks very different now. Survival has improved across the board in many tumor types, and I anticipate it will continue to do so. 20, 25 years ago, when I started my career, uh, a lot of the information was generated from mouse models, from cell lines, from yeast, from uh, that provided the insights into cancer biology, into cancer pathogenesis, into discovery. Now, we're seeing an increasing number of situations where we interrogate tumors from people using the power of molecular biology to identify those molecular alterations in those tumors that we can then study at the bench. So it used to be more exclusively bench to bedside before. Now it's more bi-directional. It's bench to bedside, bedside to bench, and back. So that's a thing that conceptually is one big thing I've seen over the last 20 years. In the old days, we focused on single gene uh, and how that altered tumor biology. Now we have to really look at suites of genes, many alterations together. So I think computational biology, in my opinion, will be an area that will be, will, will be uh, increasingly powerful and will revolutionize the way we analyze those data generated from human tumors. Now, because the information we have about the molecular biology of these tumors, because we can identify many vulnerabilities on these cancers based on those molecular alterations, and because we have drugs that exploit those, vul those vulnerabilities, an increasing number of patients are seeking clinical trials as part of their standard of care. So that's a big difference from before. Patients, clinical trials are now part of the standard of, of, the, of the clinical care that we do for patients. In terms of things that I'd like to see in the future would be uh, an even stronger alignment of patients, advocates, and academicians working together, because I think the public is gonna make a big difference in how to solve this funding crisis. And let's also remember that, that despite these hurdles and step backs, we're doing well. I would argue that the majority, that is more than 50% of patients with can cancer are cured of their disease. However, there are still many patients dying from cancer. To them, we owe them our commitment to continue to work tirelessly to find cures for their disease. And I'm confident, I'm confident that we will continue to make progress in, against cancer. <laughs>